Welcome back to my channel Gurugul. If you are watching my video for the first time then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for all notifications. Today I am going to start with part 3 of exercise 13.3. Now question number 6. As you can see on the screen A, B, C, D is a trapezium if angle A is to angle D. Okay? Angle A is to angle D is equal to 5 is to 7. Angle B is 3x plus 11 and angle C is 5x minus 31. Then we need to find the angles of the trapezium. So, shuru karte hain. Sabse pehle, angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Ab iska reason hum log kya denge? Co-interior angle. Now let me explain. As you can see, AB is parallel to DC. A ye jo AD hai is a transversal line. Or angle A or angle D, they lie on the same side of the transversal line but between the two parallel lines. Hence, it is co-interior angle. In dono ko jab hum add karenge, it should always come to 180 degree. Alright? To ab hum kya karenge? Uska ratio kya hai? 5 is to 7. So, we are going to write this way. So, angle A is to angle D which is 5 is to 7. So, let angle A be 5y and angle B be 7y. Ab hum log isko evaluate karte hai. So, 5y plus 7y should come to 180 degree. So, 5 plus 7 is 12y is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, y is equal to 180 by 12 and on reducing we got the value of y to be 15 degree. Therefore angle A which is equal to 5y is equal to 5 into 15 that gives us 75 degree and angle D which is 7y is equal to 7 into 15 that gives us 105 degree. So, hum logo ko angle A or angle D ka value mil gaya. Now, we are going to evaluate angle B as well as angle C. Again, angle B and angle C are co-interior. Reason wahi hai. I have just explained. So, in dono ko add karenge, it should always come to 180 degree. So, let us begin. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Reason is co-interior angles. So, angle B kya hai? It is 3x plus 11 plus 5x minus 31 is equal to 180 degree. Ab bracket ko remove karte hai. So, 3x plus 11 plus Bahar positive hai, to kuch bhi changes nahi hoga sign mein. 5x minus 31 is equal to 180 degree. So, 5 plus 3 is 8x and minus 31 plus 11. Negative number is big, hence subtraction sign, negative sign hoga. Aur hum log yaha pe isko minus karenge. And the answer will be 20. So, 8x minus 20 is equal to 180 degree. So, 8x is equal to 180 plus 20. So, x is equal to 200 by 8. So, after reducing, we got the value of x to be 25 degree. Now, angle B is equal to 3x plus 11 which is 3 into 25 plus 11. So, 325 is 75 plus 11. That gives us the answer of 86 degree. 
we got the value of angle B. Now angle C, it is 5x minus 31. So 5 into 25 minus 31. So 525 is 125 minus 31. So the value of angle C is 94 degree. And these are the answers. Question number 7. As you can see on the screen, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Alright. If angle C, E, B. Where is it? C, E, B. Here I have dot dim. So angle C, E, B to angle E, C, B. Which is 3 is to 2. So here B C E is forming a triangle or bola gaya hai that angle C E B is to triangle E C B. So we are talking about these two angles. I have dot laga diya, right? So in dono ka ratio kya hai? 3 is to 2. And then we need to find what do we have to find? The first one. Angle C, E, B and secondly, angle D, C, F. So, first of all, we have to remove C, E, B. That means angle. So, let us begin. In triangle B, C, E, angle B is equal to 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Hai. What is the reason? Since A, B, C, D is a rectangle. And we have the properties of rectangle ka, that all the four angles are right angle. So, this is why we have to write 90 degree. That means, what is the angle C, E, B plus 90 degree? Angle E, C, B plus 90 degree should give us 180 degree or in dono angle ka ratio diya hua hai 3 is to 2 right so let angle c e b is equal to 3 x and angle e c b is equal to 2 x so 3 x plus 2 x is equal to 180 degree 90 plus 3x plus 2x is equal to 180 degree according to angle sum property now we log isko evaluate karte hain so 5x is equal to 180 minus 90 degree or x is equal to 90 by 5 after reduction, we got the value 18 degree. So, we got the value of x. Therefore, first part hum logo ka mil gaya, which is angle C, E, B. C, E, B is equal to 3x, which is equal to 3 into 18. That gives us 54 degree. First part done. Now the second part is we need to find the measurement of angle D, C, F. This angle which is outside the rectangle. Clear? Now according to the property of a rectangle, opposite sides are equal as well as parallel. Right? That means this parallel hai iske saath aur ye jo line parallel hai iske saath. Ab yaha pe dekhiye, ye ek transversal line gaya. Clear? Now, this is a Z form. Ho rahe hai. Hai na? So, we can say that angle B E C is equal to angle E C D, which is 54 degree. So, we will write this hai. So, angle B E C is equal to 
angle E C D is equal to fifty four degree. Reason है alternate angle. ये जो B E C है ऊपर में देखिए C E B. It is the same. Clear? Next angle E C D plus angle D C F is equal to hundred and eighty degree. Reason हो गया linear pair. So angle D C F is equal to one eighty minus fifty four. That gives us one hundred and twenty six degree, and this is the answer.